Good morning, everybody. Madam Roy back once again. And we have two little boys here to say hi to you. Good morning, Milo. Good morning, Baxter. Oh, somebody's purring. Two very, very happy boys probably waiting to go get their treats this morning. All right, guys, I'll be on a couple of minutes and give you your treat. All right, treat. tubers, so... You guys have not seen me for quite a few days now, and I do apologize about that. It isn't like I haven't been filming vlogs, because I actually have. Um, but the vlog that I filmed yesterday was so bad that I just had to scrap the whole deal. You guys wouldn't have wanted to have seen it. I wasn't feeling that great. I've had this kind of uh, chest congestion, cough going on, probably because of the nasty, nasty weather we've been having here. And at the end of the day, if a vlog is not worthy of you guys, I'm just not going to upload it. So we're going to do something today. Mom and I plan to go down to um, Best Thrift and go down to Norfolk. I hear Dad is working on one of his cars. He actually has somebody coming today to look at the Hearst Olds, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's the 83 that this guy is interested in. Funny story, my dad was working on the speedometer cable, he's been having issues with it, and he just got it fixed yesterday, so we put this guy off one day, so when the guy would come look at it, of course, everything would be working just fine, and I was, we were laughing about it the other day, and I said to him, yeah, the same thing happens to me with computers, I'll be refurbishing a computer, and I'll have it listed, and all of a sudden, something small will break, like maybe, um... A stick of RAM will go bad or the video card will go out on and I'll be scrambling to get it fixed before that person that inevitably that first person comes over to look at it and more times than not I've been able to actually get that done I remember only one time a person came over and I said look I'm sorry the computer just cut off on me and in that case I was able to set them up with something else that's why when I refurbish computers I always have at least two systems available because inevitably Murphy's Law, something is going to happen. Let's go see what Dad's up to. Talk to you guys in a moment. <laughs> She's running rich, huh? Ah. Is this the one the guy's coming to look at today? Uh, be here in about 20 minutes so you guys may not see this one again which is kind of a shame I like this her I like this hearse like dead back it out a little bit the smoke's coming back in Woo! yeah we had an issue once with carbon monoxide so when we run cars we need to make sure they are outside especially these classics She is such a nice looking car. Look at that hood scoop. The two-tone black and gray. Gorgeous car. I think I'm going to be sorry to see this one go. I like it. It's got beautiful paint job. Yeah, it does. Original, you think? No, it was painted once, but the body is different than it actually. Straight and narrow. Yeah, never had any Bondo work or anything like that done. Take a shot from the side. Oh yeah, check this out everybody, look. look. Look at those body lines. I mean that is a super, super straight car. Unbelievable. Hearst Olds 15th anniversary, because it's an 83. My dad's 84 would have been the 16th. Gorgeous interior, all original. There's that famous Hearst shifter right there. Original factory AM FM cassette Delco radio that still works. To this day, the cassette player works as well. Actually, I think the only thing that doesn't work on this is the clock. Uh, no, look at that. The clock itself even works. Amazing. You never find these cars where everything works. Although, I just noticed something. We got a guy coming to see it, and he's got junk here. Look at this. He's got a screw, got a whole bunch of uh, 
dirt and dust probably from when he was working. Hey, Dad, you need to clean up after yourself a little better. You got a screw on the ground. I found one the other day. I know. I know. I miss him too sometimes. No, it was it was in the car. It was on the carpet. Oh, okay. So I was looking for it. Maybe you need that one. one? I couldn't find it. Yeah. Is that the one you need? Yeah, I need that. One. Awesome. All right, tubers. I'm gonna let Dad get back to work. We'll see what the rest day brings. I'll let you guys know if the person buys it or not, and we'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Right, tubers. So I want to show you a little surprise that I got yesterday from one of the neighbors here. Picked up this iMac um, for free. They actually called me because they're moving, and they said, hey, we got an iMac. Do you think you might want it? So I said, yeah, I'll take it. Um, I cannot boot it up for you guys right now because it has their personal information on it, and I promised them that I wouldn't. But I can tell you what this iMac actually is. It's a 2007 uh, with an Intel Core 2 Duo running at 2 gigahertz, has 1 gigabyte of DDR2 memory, and I believe it's a 320 gigabyte hard drive. And this, if I'm not mistaken, is the 20 inch, 20 or 21 inch iMac. You guys will probably be able to tell me better. Came with the keyboard and mouse, though the mouse itself, if you look here, has definitely seen uh, better days. You can see that's really, really uh, frayed there, but it still works. But, of course, most of you guys probably know you can actually use a PC keyboard and mouse with these. Um, the screen's okay. It has a few little marks there, some little, few little chips, but nothing major. Most of this is just uh, dirt at this point. They said this computer has actually been put through the ringer. This computer has a lot of power on hours, but it still seems to work just fine. One thing I actually found curious was it actually still has the original plastic covering over the Apple logo. Now, I tried pulling this off yesterday, but unfortunately, it's been on there for so long. The only way I think I can do it is to get a heat gun, heat the whole thing up, and then slowly pull it off. Because you see, if I try to pull it off now, it barely wants to move. So that'll be for a later time. Uh, ports on this thing. We have, if my camera will focus, headphone, microphone. We have three USB 2.0 ports. We have FireWire 400, FireWire 800. We have uh, Ethernet, maybe gigabit, I'm not 100% sure. And then we have our mini or micro display port. I think it's a mini display port on this particular one. But um, yeah, she's a, a nice little runner, and I will be showing this in a future video. Dad's coming in. You all done with the car? Uh, you all done working on the car? Yeah, I feel like that Okay, so we'll find out about that uh, in a little bit. And of course, last but not least, we just have our regular power button here. So this will definitely be in a future video once I can get the um, recovery media that I need to go ahead and wipe this thing. But I just thought I'd show you that I did pick up a free iMac, even though it's an older one. Heck, can't argue with free. All right, tubers, I'm going to go ahead and pause this vlog. We'll see what the rest day brings, and I'll talk to you guys. All right, tubers, side. dad's over here working on the computer. Mom's cleaning up. It's uh, about 11 o'clock. And show them what you're doing with the peppers. Yeah, See, in the garage. Well, show them what you're doing with those. See, you guys might remember um, from about a week ago now. Actually, it was the, the last Saturday, so a little over a week. We went down to the Union Mission thrift store, and we got a whole bunch of those uh, red peppers from their warehouse sale. And finally, we're going to do something with them. Show them what you're doing. Roasting them. You get them till they're black. The skin is all black. And then you peel the skin off, and it's like roasted uh, roasted uh, peppers. And when you put it in a, in a container, it, the oil comes out. So it's just like having the ones you get in the jar, but they're better. They're better than the jar and, ones. Like and these, these are good on salads. They're good on sandwiches. sandwiches. Oh, so we're going to see how these come out, but i got to like take another these, whiff. Oh, my goodness. It's like those. Yeah, exactly. But those have been canned in oil, yeah. and you never know how long ago they were, right. they were canned. But the smell is unbelievable. I love the smell of roasting red peppers. Now, funny story. Mom will back me up on this. When I was young, I did not like roasted red peppers. Now I, I fix them. I tried to eat them, and I just thought they had a funny taste. But as I got older, my uh, taste changed. And I love them now. I can't wait to try uh, these on a sandwich. So you got to do good. your chicken salad. 
I want a chicken oh, salad sandwich with a roasted red pepper on it. Oh, I usually do it with either turkey or ham, but I never thought of the other. I bet, I bet it would be really good. I just thought about that right now. All right, tubers, mom and I are going to have to leave in just a few minutes, hopefully. We're going to head down to uh, Best Thrift. We'll see what the rest of the day brings, and we'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, tubers, so we're almost done here, probably a few more minutes. They have to get entirely black all around, and the mom is going to show you guys how to peel them. And again, these make great sandwich toppers, or they're great in salads, too. So a few more minutes. And they should right, be tubers. Done. So the roasted red peppers are out. Mom's going to show you guys how we actually do this. Usually they're a little blacker than this. I've never done them in the toaster oven, but usually you can just peel the skin right off. Of course, it's not working because we're filming. Yeah, I know, uh, right? You know that goes. Oh, here. This oh, here we go. Better. That one's pretty easy. This one works better. Yeah. It's not as thick. So you're basically pulling the it's black hot. burnt part off. Which is the skin. You want the skin off, and you want to get down to the... To the oh, there we go. That's it. A very sweet pepper, actually. Much sweeter than the green and the yellow peppers. That's why I like them so much. You've never tried it. got try it. Yep. Dad says try it. If you've never tried this, it's, it's definitely now, worth trying. Of course, when I used to do them, I had a, a nice broiler in my oven in New York and it worked out better. If you put them right under the flame, they get really black. And you can see it right there. You don't want there. the skin on if you can help it. Oh, look at that steaming. I can see the fork marks yeah. in there. That's pretty cool. Can't wait to try this later on this week on a sandwich. So everybody, you got to encourage moms. You got to make some more chicken salad for this. Yeah, I never so that's going to taste salad. really good. So that's pretty much it. Again, you just peel the top yep. layer off, which is the skin. And if you get it black, it really peels off better. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why. I'm having more trouble this time getting the skin off. She yeah. got it. It's coming up. Maybe you have to let it cool off, or is it better to yeah, do it hot? You have to kind of do it when it's hot. Okay. Otherwise, it kind of reattaches. I've never done this before, so this is all new on me. Ingredient Italian salt. Italian what is it? Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's what it's made for, really. But it goes on any sandwich. Like an Italian hoagie. Yeah, but it goes well. Oh, yeah. Time. If you do it with Italian meat, Ooh, salad, it's salami, it's pepperoni, pepperoni and stuff. That is awesome. Really well, there you go, tubers. We're going to finish this up and then head down to uh, Best Thrift. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, everybody. Here I am at the Hope House Thrift Store in Norfolk. First one of the day. We'll see if I find anything. Already had an interesting day. I went to the Dollar Tree over here off of 21st Street. I was able to get 11 more of those melatonin drops, the ones that help me fall asleep at night. So I'm really happy about that. That is a natural way to fall asleep without taking something like uh, Benadryl, you know, diphenhydramine, which is a chemical, and that stuff can build up in your body over time. So we're we'll going head into the thrift store. We'll see if I get lucky today. I'll let you guys know shortly. Talk to you on the flip All side. All right, tubers. I hit the mother load here at Hope House. I wound up getting four of these uh, custom-built systems. These are all Core i5s. Uh, they're all really different. This one's an uh, Antec case. This one's a Cooler Master case. This one is a Cooler Master, and I think the other one also might be a Cooler Master. They're all missing hard drives. Some of them are missing the memory, but for the $35 a piece I paid for them, that is not a bad deal at all. You can see they even have the build dates or the service dates. This one is from 2014. This one, I think, is from 2012. So that's probably a second or a third Gen i5. This one might actually be a fourth. So that is not a bad deal at all. You can see they list everything up here. No hard drives. But they don't say exactly what um, processors are in here, just the, that they're i5. So... I'm going to go ahead and load these things up. Mom's getting hungry. You getting ready? You want to get down and get something to eat pretty soon? Uh, not right away. I think well, we're going to walk first. We're going to walk a little bit, but i got to get a little something to eat because I'm getting hungry. I'm going to go ahead and load these up, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, everybody. So I'm here at the CHKD, and it was funny because Mom said to herself, hmm, he must be getting something big because <laughs> I was taking an awfully long time. Uh, I figured he had this. Got a good haul. Yeah, and sure enough, I got those five towers. They have two more in there. One's another i5, the other one's an i3. 
um, but I may, I'm going to hold off because I want to make sure these are in good shape. Only three of them, I think, actually have memory and none of them have hard drives, but that's okay. I mean, I have hard drives at home and I can scrape up some memory if I have to. They're all DDR3 systems and they're all custom built. Uh, they're a little dusty, but I figured for $35 a piece, that was not a bad deal at all. So when I get home, probably in a, another vlog, I'll be showing you guys slowly what kind of i5s these have. I'm still guessing probably second or third gens, but we'll find out. Mom and I are heading into the CHKD. We'll see what the debt rest day brings. Okay. We'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, now we're here at Best Thrift. Basically, I need to look for monitors. Now, I won't say no to getting a few more towers, but I need to get some monitors to pair with those towers. So hopefully we get something good in here. Um, again, they got the coupon today, 20 was it 30 percent off a purchase of 25 dollars or more so let's go in and check it out and uh see what i can find got some other thrift store scores for you but i'll probably wait till we get home to show you guys that so i'll talk to you guys what happened shortly oh that door is stuck huh <laughs> mom's trying to open the door yeah it says please use other door that's weird. It only tells on one. That's weird. And if you look here, their charity is the Eggleston Services. Let's see. Oh, no carts. So I guess I'll be taking a little basket here. If I need something, I'll uh, stick it in there. Hopefully, I can get a cart shortly. Here's a cart. Got one for me? Ah, oh, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. That'll work. Now I can put that back. Thank you very much. Isn't that nice? People here are so nice. They give you their carts when they're done with them. Now, let's go check it and see what we can find. But at least I got a cart. All right, everybody. So I'm here at the uh, CHKD in, um, off a of battlefield. And you can see they got a lot of high-definition TVs. I got a Sylvania one here for... Huh, that's actually not a bad price, 30 bucks. An older one, I'm not even sure that's an HD one. I think that's an ED or enhanced definition TV. You got a little tiny Sylvania one here, two for 25. Thought I'd give you guys a little taste of what they have. When I first saw this, I said to myself, this has got to be a computer monitor, but it's not. If you look in the back, it's actually in high definition TV. So mostly TVs. But I do like the way this one uh, categorizes things, at least for the most part. You can see they have mostly computer monitors here, except for these few little HD TVs there. There's another Sylvania for 30. I've been seeing a lot of these. I wonder if they're coming from hotels or something. But nothing in this one for me today. They have a couple of actual monitors here, but they're, uh, they're too old. Most people wouldn't want those. Check this out. How many of you guys remember these Antec cases from back in the day? It's even got one of the original Sony uh, dual-layer DVD burners. And the way these pop out, you would just push the two tabs in, and the drives would pull out forward. I actually loved these cases. I would buy this um, just for the case, but I'm not really looking to pay $30 for this. Maybe if the price goes down, I'll have to keep checking back, but... That's all I see here today, guys. I really can't find much of anything at this store. At least I haven't recently. They do have one other monitor here, but this one's way too small. This is an old HP VS 15-inch monitor. Actually, these are the ones I used to sell when I worked at Best Buy. This one's from 05, but they had this model up until about 2007 when they switched over to Vista. And these became uh, black instead of gray. But Mom and I are getting hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this little snippet inside the thrift store. I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, everybody. So we came to here yard sale here in um, Battlefield in the other part of Chesapeake. And guess what? Mom decided to get this. Isn't this awesome? This is going to go in our kitchen. Um, pretty much by where the phones are. This is a gorgeous piece. Now, we just checked all of the glass and all the uh, hinges. Everything works fine. It's called a stunning lit china display cabinet. It was $345, now $299. And this has a really cool feature, which I can't show you right now because it isn't plugged in, but... If you touch the hinges, any of the hinges, it'll activate the cabinet lights up there. So that is a really, really cool feature. Unfortunately, none of the dishes come with it, but that's fine. We have stuff we can put in there. 
That is so cool. It even has a little drawer here. The drawers are lined. You can see that's where you can put your um, utensils, your forks, and your knives and things. So that is awesome, everybody. Mom's been thinking about this for a while. She's been mulling it over, and I kind of convinced her to go ahead and do it. And what's nice is they can deliver, and it actually comes in uh, two pieces. So this is a really cool place. It's called Yard Sale here off of Battlefield Boulevard. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this paid for. Then Mom and I really need to get, uh, get to lunch because we're really hungry at this point. Mom's giving me my keys back. Are you happy? Got answers. Uh oh. I love it. But you love it. All right. I I, do. I love it. We're gonna go pay for it, and we'll talk to you guys probably when I get to the restaurant. All right, everybody. Here we are at our favorite Chinese restaurant, Peking Two. What do you think you're gonna get? Oh, probably the garlic chicken or the Sichuan chicken. And I'm gonna get the chicken and mushrooms, which I always get, and I'm probably gonna get a piece of cheesecake if they have it. So let's go inside. Because it's 2.30 and I haven't had lunch or dinner and I am absolutely starving. Now hiring. Huh, it's too bad I don't live closer. All right, tubers, catch you in a couple minutes. All right, everybody, so here we are inside. Just put the order in. Uh, I got chicken and mushrooms with the uh, bowl of the hot and sour soup and also the cheesecake for dessert. And mom got her usual garlic chicken. I just want to show you guys, as you can see, my face has gotten a lot better. Um, there's no more peeling though. I must say I still get a little bit of uh, redness here, but that's kind of typical for me. Um, I think it's just because it's winter time and the heat's on and my skin is just starting to dry out a little bit. As spring approaches and we don't have the um, heat on in the house as much, I don't think that's going to be a problem. I've been putting a lot of lotion on it and I'm using this special um, hydrocortisone cream that actually has some steroid in it and that seems to be clearing it up nicely. Hopefully that uh, stays that way because it's not really comfortable. I can't shower but maybe twice a week now because if I shower more than that it starts to uh, flake and peel again and it gets really really itchy especially at night time so keep your prayers out for me that that stay is gone hopefully um, the cream continues to do the job so I think our appetizers are coming I'm going to pause this vlog you guys don't need to see the food you guys have seen it from here before mom and I want to eat in peace and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later all right tubers I am back home with a full trunk as you can see got a whole bunch of goodies but you're not going to see all of them in this video. You're going to have to just wait and stay tuned uh, to the whole video that I'll do either later on tonight or probably more realistically tomorrow. Most of you already have seen this earlier. These I am so happy to have gotten. I've got to do a, quite a bit of work to them, but for the price, I am not complaining. Um, but man, mom and I were totally packed in here. I don't think I could put another thing in this trunk. I've actually learned very well from my father how to pack a lot of items in a small space. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. It's getting really cold, so I'm going to empty as much of this out now as I can. Go inside, have a cup of coffee, and then edit this vlog up. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.